Hi everyone, my name is Father Sam Kachuba and welcome to Faith Friday. We're quickly approaching the great feast of Pentecost, the birthday of the church, the day on which the Holy Spirit descends on the apostles who are gathered in the upper room with the Blessed Virgin Mary and sends them out on their first mission to proclaim the gospel. That very first Pentecost, we read that the apostles made 3,000 new disciples, that all these people were baptized, they came to faith in Jesus Christ on that day. And so we're preparing to receive the Holy Spirit ourselves as a church. We prepare to once again be renewed in that great gift of the Holy Spirit who comes to each of us. In baptism, we received those gifts. In confirmation, those gifts were sealed in us. And now we're sent out also to proclaim the gospel. We are also sent out to make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So we pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit on ourselves. But there's something beautiful about the Feast of Pentecost, and that is that it was already a feast that existed. The whole reason that people were gathered in Jerusalem from all these different countries that we hear about, the reason they were all gathered there was to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. And the Jewish Feast of Pentecost was a harvest celebration. It was the end of the wheat harvest. And so celebrating that the harvest had been brought in. Well, what happens on the end of this wheat harvest but the apostles are sent out? Remember what Jesus says? The harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send laborers for his harvest. See, the apostles are being sent out to bring in that great harvest. On the very day that their people would celebrate the end of the harvest. Well, so for the church then, the harvest is ready. The harvest is ready. The world is prepared to receive the gospel. The world is prepared to be brought into that great relationship with Jesus Christ. Are you willing to be a laborer in that harvest? The Holy Spirit coming upon the apostles was not limited just to them. And the mission that they have to go out and proclaim the gospel is not limited just to them, but to you and to me. We're sent out also to be laborers in this great harvest. So how is it that the Holy Spirit is sending you out today? How is it that the Holy Spirit wants you to go and proclaim the gospel to the world? How are you going to bear witness to your faith in your workplace, in your school? How are you going to carry out that great mission of making disciples? Is the Lord calling you in your family life to be more attentive to proclaiming the gospel? Is he calling you to evangelize one particular friend of yours, to invite them to church? Is he calling you maybe to a vocation of service in the life of the church as a priest or as a religious sister? Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send laborers for the harvest. And as we continue to pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, which we will celebrate this Sunday, let us go forth as great witnesses, as laborers for the harvest, celebrating the joy of the harvest and celebrating that the Holy Spirit guides us in all truth. The Holy Spirit guides us in everything that we do. God bless you.